buying a property either new construction or resale house make sure your inspection will get done properly otherwise expect like a very high home insurance What is going on guys? It's RJ Bautista, your credible realtor here in Central Florida with EXP Realty. Today, I'm going to talk about how to get a minimum payment or cheap house insurance on your next property. Alright, so if you are planning to buy a property right now and also you're thinking about the property insurance or home insurance, make sure you watch this video from this start until the end and I will explain you or give you some quick good nuggets and tips how to get your home insurance little or as much as possible. Alright, but before I start this video, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe if you haven't done so and if you found this value and useful, make sure to subscribe and smash that like button for me and share this video to all your family and friends without further ado let's jump into it so number one i'm gonna talk about hold on it's a bit itchy what okay let's go i'm good so number one i'm gonna talk about here first before buying a property think about this okay if you want a low cost of home insurance you need to buy a newer home if not newer home new construction if you can afford to buy a new construction why because home insurance they want to see how good the home is or how good your house or the property before they give you or insure you for example here in florida where i'm located at all right you know here in florida we have a lot of storm we have a lot of typhoon and all that stuff rain okay so home insurance here is not really cheap if you're gonna buy a old house let's say at least 30 years old house why because you know what is the structure of that 30 or 20 years old house the only thing that you're gonna think of if this house is about 20 years old and older number one the insurance or home insurance thing is the roof okay if the roof of the old house is not being replaced before you buy it expect your home insurance is gonna be way expensive okay and then what you're gonna do if you buy this like second house or resale house which is like 20 years old or 30 years old what will happen is you have to replace the roof okay and it will cost you for at least 10,000 maybe 15 20,000 or more some of them could cost up to 30 to 40,000 they are not cheap okay so when you're trying to buy a property remember to buy updated as you can let's say if you want to buy a resale house make sure you're gonna buy the resale house or the used house they have been changed the roof number one okay change the roof for at least three years or lower all right so what do you mean like three years or lower so if they change the roof from th three years and below or let's say to this year is 2022 or 2023 so make sure the roof is being changed for at least 2020 so your roof is only three years old and then once the inspector come in you know they will think oh this roof is good so they will put in the report that this roof has been changed for just three years ago okay and then when they show this to home insurance the home insurance say oh okay we don't have to worry because the roof is new remember if you have a lot of winds a lot of typhoon a lot of rain coming in where the rain or wind coming first in your roof right so if your roof is old obviously it's weak what will happen buy roof buy roof so what will happen is the home insurance will entitled to replace that roof so that you know if your roof is old they will quote you or they will price you a very expensive home insurance it could be as $500 a month if you're buying a old house without updating the roof so I very recommend that if you're gonna buy a property try to buy a property which is updated as you can or new construction okay which is my specializing in new construction that's why I will have new construction because I don't like or I don't want any headache at all so remember that one my second thing i'm gonna talk about is the home inspection home inspection is always get done before buying the property unless the buyer or you who watching this video you're planning to buy a property and you want to waive the inspection you can do that but remember without inspection i don't without ex ex ah come on without inspection report the home insurance will need that one and you might not get any home insurance at all but some home insurance they don't care why 
because if you buy a property which is like a brand new property or new construction they might said oh i don't need anything home inspection report it's just because you have a new house a new roof a new everything a brand new construction house right that makes sense so if you have a new home or newer home compared to old home or used home or resale house obviously the insurance price that you will get is cheaper or way 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 cheaper compared to your used house or resale wow. house okay however if you're buying a resale house or use house you need to remember this you need to get your inspection done okay so there are different kind of infect infection <laughs> inspection that you could choose or you could do or for your service for the inspector i will give you these four important inspection that you need to do before buying a property either you're buying a new construction or use house you always have like inspection i very recommend that one but it's all up to you if you're gonna use this service or this method i'm gonna show you or i'm gonna tell you about the inspection or not so number one inspection that i very recommend is like the basics inspection okay basics inspection they will inspect your house obviously for the roof that's the number one they will inspect also for the plumbing which is your boiler your water anything about in plumbing all right third one is your electrical okay they will inspect your electrical your wires you know for your power for your electric make sure everything is good and the last one is your ac if you are here in central florida or here in florida okay because ac is important as you know here in florida is so hot here so it's so hot here during most of the year so how can you live without the AC because without the AC in your property what could happen is you can have like example of molds which is start making some molds if you don't have an AC or it could have or it could deteriorate your house without having centralized AC or AC inside of your property okay so make sure that you take note on this because this is very important so that's the inspection number one that I am trying to show you get the basic inspection if you are having like a new construction basic inspection will do for you you don't need to have like crazy inspection because you have a new construction house what can they find a new construction house unless the builder who just made your property or your made your new construction house they didn't do their proper work or proper job you know what i mean so what is the second inspection that you need to do this is the second inspection that you need to do is the wind mitigation what do you call that wind mitigation what the second inspection that you need to do is the wind mitigation or something like that. I cannot even pronounce. That wind mitigation is just for the roof. All right. So what they do, they will inspect how good or how strong is your property as well as your roof. So they are basically after the basic inspection, they will do a lot of inspection as well, just particularly in your property and also your roof. I'm not an inspector, by the way, I'm a real estate agent. So I just learning this, you know, helping my clients, you know, buying property here in Florida. Okay. So remember that one. And the third one that I'm going to say is the four point inspection. Okay. What is the point? Four point inspection now RJ so four point inspection they're gonna inspect not just the roof they're gonna inspect also in your wood how good is the wood in your property if it's deteriorating they need to change it they're using like a special machine to get this inspection done okay as I said I'm not inspector I'm just learning this when the inspection come in the property we're inspecting it I'm just there you know showing me what kind of inspection that they doing okay so remember that four way or four point inspection in your house House. you have to include that especially if you are buying a resale or used house very important guys so if you want like very low home insurance in your house okay so that's a number three and let's go for my last one my last one is the if you have a swimming pool here in Florida make sure you add that as well and also they have they call it for molds inspection okay what is the molds inspection by the way what is the mold mold can cost if your house is too old obviously and also if you don't have a lot of ventilation in your house sometimes if you only have like little ventilation or no ventilation at all the mold will start growing or the mold will start coming everywhere okay because there's no something the air that could you know go out outside of your property so they are starting to build inside your property so that's why I very recommend as well when you're buying a property make sure you have like a good ventilation and also you have like a room that open 
then where the air conditioning is flowing because if you have a closed room which your air conditioning is not moving a lot or is just stuck in one place and then you have a chance for one place which has no air coming in and coming out that gets some mold okay if you want more information about the mold i'm not a mold guy i'm just learning this as i said you can type in google what is mold and how it costs and how to prevent it as well okay so that's my another tip for you if you want to know more about you know getting a property so the last one i just said like if you have like a mold treatment and also the swimming pool treatment when the home insurance get this report as well with those three that i just mentioned obviously they will get you or they will give you like a very low price for your home insurance isn't it a good it's good right if you think so make sure to smash that like yeah. button for me so remember those inspection is very important especially if you're buying a resale house so if you have any question or if you are just particularly like buying a property either new construction or resale house you know make sure your inspection will get done properly otherwise you know expect like a very high home insurance code for your house so i hope Hope this is helpful i'm stopping my video for today i know i'm talking too much but if you stay in this video until this end comment down below new construction so i could see how many people who watch this video until this end and i really appreciate your time watching my video until this end and i know i'm talking too much i will see you on my next video i'm out for today peace if you are having like a new construction basics in basics basic inspection i couldn't even talk